Welcome to another edition of Jacqueline of All Trades and today I have great news. This is uh, related to my science fascination and these are the results from a lipid profile cascade that I had on March of 2016. You will see that it was a fasting lab my cholesterol was 223, my triglycerides were 350, my LDLs, which are the bad cholesterol, was 114, my HDL, which is the good cholesterol, was 39, and my cholesterol to HDL ratio was 5.7. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you're going to see that all these values are elevated and it's really um, not a good result. Now, I'll, I'll obscure my, my name, my medical record, and the name of my, my doctor because I have not spoken with him in terms of um, disclosing this information. I think it's, it's sort of irrelevant. Um, but I, um, I just turned 47 years old, and I've had, for as long as I can remember, high triglycerides. Now, for about, I would say, three months, I've actually started a low-carb diet. And I'm just going to show you the results that I got yesterday. And I had this. They're both fasting profiles. And I'm going to show you the one that I got yesterday. And these are the numbers. My cholesterol went down from 223 to 215. My triglycerides dropped almost half from 350 to 166. My bad cholesterol went to 124. It was actually 114 before, so it went up a little bit. My good cholesterol, the HDL, went up significantly from 39, which is below uh, what's necessary to 58. My cholesterol to good cholesterol ratio dropped to 3.7. This one, and it actually was, the previous one was the highest I've ever gotten, was 5.7. And here is 3.7 within the normal range. Now, there's a few things that are still not 100% correct in terms of from an ideal uh, lipid profile, the cholesterol and the bad cholesterol are a little bit higher. However, the triglycerides are almost half. The good cholesterol went up significantly. Um, I don't have a calculator, but it's um, almost uh, went up 20%. And the type, the ratio, the cholesterol to the overall cholesterol to good cholesterol um, decrease significantly, which is what you want. Um, the, the higher your cholesterol to high cholesterol ratio, the more likely you are to have uh, cardiac issues, heart problems. So this was so incredibly amazing to me. Uh, the biggest the biggest decrease was the triglycerides and uh, I am I I owe it all to a low carb diet now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this video series in different chunks so it's not too confusing but I just wanted to put this out there um, it is not perfect and it's a work in progress but I just wanted to show you how significant the triglyceride drop has been. And I've had high triglycerides, I think 350, 357 being the highest ever. So to have them almost half is very significant. So thank you so much and stay tuned for the rest of the series. Bye.